Hello everyone, this is Brad Tallis with NextGen Solutions, and welcome to this week's Fusion Friday. In today's video, I'll be talking about enhancements to the Fusion drawings, the hatches, and the arrowheads. So let's jump right in. I'm going to start out by creating a section view of this front view here. And here's a neat little tip. If I zoom in, I can hover over this edge and you'll notice it snaps to the center. And then I can just drag off to the right and it will align with that. So I could click there and over here to the other side. And you can see it's going to slice right through the center of this assembly. I'll click the OK. And here is another bonus tip. So you'll notice it's wanting to place the section view right above the parent view. But if I sit for a minute, it'll say press shift to cycle between maintaining the alignment or breaking the alignment. So I'm just going to hit the shift key and I can now position this section view wherever I want. I also don't want it to be shaded. I'm going to do visible edges only and say OK. And it's going to create the section view for me. Let's just go ahead and zoom up on this. And the uh, tip I wanted to talk about was these hatches. If I double click on the hatch, you'll see that we have lots of different kinds of hatches now. So for example, I could say um, concrete. And you can kind of see how it gives me a preview of what that would look like. I can also change the scale factor of that. So I could say, let's make that 0.75. And you can see it becomes more dense. And I can even change the color. So let's make it like kind of a brownish color like so. So it's very easy to come in and change these hatches. So let's change that to... Uh, maybe something like this and change the scale factor to be much smaller, um, like 0.5, for example. Um, and once again, picking a different color. So great way to kind of clarify your section views if you need to, especially if you had like different materials. Um, maybe you were doing a section view um, of like a foundation and you wanted to show like cement and dirt and wood um, etc. You can actually do that now with all of these different types of hatches. So like for example gravel, let's make that small, let's just say 0.25 and you can kind of see what that looks like. And let's change that color to be yellow in this case. So okay, the next tip I want to talk about is um, dimension arrowheads. So I'm going to throw a quick dimension on here. Um, let's just do maybe like this overall length. I'm going to force it to be horizontal and I'll place that dimension. And if we take a look at the arrowhead, we can see like it's a filled in arrowhead. To change the style of the arrowheads, I can go into my document settings and click this little gear icon, this edit. And on the second tab is the annotation tab. And this allows me to do all the settings for example all of my dimensions and right here we can see arrowhead is set to closed filled and if i click on that i can see all of the different options that we have so for example i could do uh, open 30 press ok and we can see how the arrowhead style now is like an open arrow um, let's do that again click on the annotation tab and let's do like oblique to be more like, like an architectural style um, drawing. So very quick and very easy to change the different styles. Um, in fact, I like the open 30. I'm going to go back to that, say OK. And all of my dimensions that I create now will have the open 30 on there. So let's just do that. And sure enough, you can see that dimension style. 
So hopefully you learned something new today with the drawing hatches and the arrowheads. If you found this video useful, please hit the like button and share it with others. Thank you, and I'll see you on the next Fusion Friday.